So lovely people, we're gonna make homemade scones. I love doing this, I'll probably do it every single week. The kids love it. It's really, really, really easy. And I'm gonna be bigging up my beautiful bakeware range. We're gonna use 500 grams of self-raising flour, 150 grams of diced um, unsalted butter. I will put a pinch of salt in because I don't want them to decide how much salt goes in. I wanna put my pinch in. A couple of teaspoons of sugar in just to kind of give it an edge of sweetness. I don't want it to be sweet, just kind of take it off of savoury, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with two um, sort of semi-heaped, like that, teaspoons of baking powder. That's gonna give it a nice little rise. Then what I wanna do is just rub this together. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you've got a few blades of uh, butter sort of in the mix, it's all good. It gives lift and rise to your beautiful scones. So bring that together, little splash of milk, and then I've got 150 grams of lovely dried fruit. Random, you know, you can go apricot, sour cranberries, cherries, you name it, you can do it. I just put a little orange juice on top of it and leave it for about half an hour just to sort of slightly rehydrate those lovely fruits. And then literally I'm gonna hug this together and try not to overwork it, okay? So as soon as it comes roughly together like this, I'll cover it, I'll let it chill out in the fridge, and then I'll roll it out in about half an hour. So we've got some beautiful cutters here, all kinds of shapes and sizes. We've got the fluted and the plain, a range of different sizes as well. I'm gonna just do a little mixture of all of them really, just to kind of get the fun going. So I'm gonna go straight on to a baking sheet. I'm gonna just add all of these. As long as they're the same thickness, they're gonna cook at the same time. So we've got our beautiful sour fruit scones there. You can put a little milk on top or a little butter. I'm just gonna use a little extra virgin olive oil. Not very classic, but I don't mind. It's perfect for the job. Brush them on top. They'll cook up an absolute treat. In the oven, 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook those for about 15 minutes until they've doubled inside, gone nice and golden, and then I will put them together with some simple and classic clotted cream and jam. So, the lovely scones have had a cheeky little 15 minutes in the oven. Let's get them on a cake rack. So look, these are rough and ready and they are rustic and I love them this way, okay? For me, it's all about the flavor and the texture, right? Crumbly, jam, clotted cream, gorgeous. If you work that dough harder, you will get a more perfect shape and cut out, but I don't think they taste as good. Clotted cream has to be one of the most ridiculous delicacies in the world. Some lovely jam, absolute simplicity at its best. So what do you do? The clotted cream or the jam first? I go clotted cream. But look, you can see how short this gorgeous scone is. Mmm. Oh yeah. I love you. Absolutely gorgeous. So guys, what are you waiting for this weekend? Make some scones, go on, go for it. If you want more information about my beautiful bakeware, click the i button up there and have a little look. There's loads of great stuff. And if you want the recipe, just click the details below.